Hello guys and welcome back to another DC figure review with me, the Doc 11. So today we are reviewing Poison Ivy from the new Batman Adventures, which I believe was an animated series. So we're just going to run over the packaging. So the figure's displayed in a nice transparent clear window. It's got the name of the figure on the side with most DC figures. The new Batman Adventures logo, the warning and hazard things, and obviously it says down there for ages 14 and plus, the DC Comics logo. This is number 8 in the comic line. On the back, you've got a picture of Batman, whoever that is, and I'm guessing that's in that Robin and Nightwing, actually. And then you've got the same picture, but inverted behind the figure. So that's all for the packaging, really. So let's open the figure and review it. Okay, guys, so now we have the figure out of the packaging. Let's look at the detail on the figure. Now, I haven't actually seen the show that she's from, so I can't really tell any hidden detail well not hidden details but I can't really compare it to any details but you know um the hair's really nicely painted and it has that cartoony effect because it's nice blocky and looks like play-doh stuck in her head but it does look pretty cool and I do like the idea of how they've done it and the hair the hair um like style I guess um does look Quite well, I think it looks good in the figure. I do like the green highlights around the eyes and around um, everywhere else and the lips and stuff. And I do like the nice green body that she's being given with the sort of sleeves. But other than that, there's not really much detail on her. She has some pale white legs, pale well, well skin actually. Um, it'd be nice to maybe have a bit of detail of like maybe some vines or something, but. Yeah, I'm guessing this is accurate to the show, but I haven't seen it, so, yeah. So, let's go to articulation. The head moves left and right, but it's hinged by the back of the hair. The arm does 360 at the shoulder, and it is ball-jointed, so it can move out, but not that much. Um, it does 360 at the bicep. It does 90 at the elbow. It does 360 at the wrist. She does actually come with some interchangeable hands, which I will show you later on. Um, she can kick forward, she can kick back, she can do the splits from her thighs. She has a 90 degree bend at her knee and um, 360 foot pivot and she can move her, ankle, her foot up and down. So... Now let's move on to the act. Okay, so here are the accessories. As you can see, it comes with four uh, swappable hands um, and some like alchemy sort of like sciency stuff, which would be very good for accessories for any figure pictures I do, just in the background. Um, and this here is a um, stand that she comes with, but I'll show you that uh, after I've shown you the accessories. So, the first accessory that she comes with is this green um, jar. Um, it's just a bit of translucent plastic with a bit of green painted on the bottom, really. But it does look pretty cool, and I guess it kind of... It has that cartoony feel like the animation from the show. Um, the next thing that she comes with is this nice red sort of... Um, I, I don't know, different flask, I guess. Um, and obviously it's got like a bit of red sort of at bottom to make it look like it's got some red liquid in. Um, and I wonder what she's bubbling up in there. And then here we have what looks like a, a translucent iron. And well, it actually looks like one of those things that you play um, bowling with um, at a ballpark. Where you just sort of roll it along the floor like a herb or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, it looks like one of them. But I don't actually know. It could actually be a spaceship. But... I guess it's a kettle or an iron, I don't know. But it's got, as you can see, sort of red liquid there, so it looks weird. But it is really cool, and I do like the idea of it looking like... Um, yeah, like an iron and yeah, cartoony. The next accessory that she comes with is this hand. Now, this is a fisted hand, so as you can see, she's going to fight someone. Um, and that it comes with two fisted hands. As you can see here. Uh, the next swappable hand she comes with is sort of a open maybe grabbing hand which that seems to be the trend with the DC figures. They come with a grabbing hand and then obviously the figures that the figure actually comes then with a 
open hand, which is the one she has in the box. So to change the hands, you can just pop it out like that and then put it in like this. Pretty simple, really. Well, when I can get it in, obviously. There we go. And it's in. And that's basically the new hand on the figure. So it's not that hard to change, which is really good and is always a plus on an action figure. So now I'll show you all the accessories. I'm going to show you the stand. Yeah. Okay, so this here is the stand that she comes with. Now, I actually struggled to put it together at first until I read the instructions that it comes with. Uh, pretty simple, actually. Uh, because originally I was just trying to shove it in anyway. Uh, but you've actually got to look for the groove. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, but there's a tiny little groove there. And that just slots into uh, a tiny little groove that's in there, which you might just be able to see. And it just slots in there quite well. And then it's a good fit. And then, obviously, this just slots on the top. Um, yeah. So, the figure then just, well, you open this. And then slot her in nicely. And she'll stand pretty well, but... It doesn't really go that tight around her, which is a shame. I wish it did go a bit tight around her, so that you could, unless, I guess, that's about as tight as you could get it, but you'd have to hire it. There we go. That's it for you. So, that's the stand that she comes with. The base is pretty simple, just shows you how you can pose her, really. And, yeah. So, that's it for this review, guys. It's definitely worth uh, picking it up. I think my mum picked me up for Christmas from... B&M in Halifax or wherever, just B&M really, £8 apparently, so very decent and worth it, seeing as I actually do know another shop where you can buy the same ones, but for £20, so yeah, so thanks for watching this review, please leave a like, a comment and of course subscribe, I'll see you next time guys, goodbye.